Hi, this is Angela from Anjali Mudra Yoga. Um, I wanted to show you a video today of Salamba Sharangasana. It's the shoulder stand. I'm showing you the variation with the chair. You can see that I've set up the chair and three uh, blankets. I've folded them flat and have the curved edge outside. Um, the reason why we put blankets in this posture is because it's the safest way to do that. What you want is to have your shoulders on the blanket and your head uh, resting down so that the cervical spine is um, in space. The reason why we do that is because the natural range of motion of the neck, the cervical spine, is 40%. You can see this image shows the flexion of the entire spine. And just the flexion of the cervical alone is 40%. You can see, or sorry, 40 degrees. When you flex your neck in space, that's usually as far as it goes comfortably. If you do um, this posture uh, without the chair and without the blankets, your neck is actually at 90 degrees, and that is not safe. It's not uh, anatomically natural or possible, and it's really, um, it's really going to increase enormously your chance of having a hernia over time. Um, also, if you have your head and your shoulders on the same um, level, it's putting a lot of pressure on the head. This way, the pressure is mostly on the, well, it's really all on the shoulders. And that's what we want in this posture. So um, doing this posture pregnant, you wouldn't do it if you had the separation of the muscles of your abdominals. It just wouldn't be possible really to get into it and out of it comfortably. Uh, so also if you're menstruating, you don't want to have your hips and your legs above your heart. So that would be a time to avoid this posture. So how we get into it, is sit on the chair, bring your knees up over the top of the chair, come back down, slowly with control, and drop your shoulders onto the blankets. The hips and the sacrum stay on the chair. If you have long arms, you could grab the back legs of the chair, but I always grab the front. And then lift the legs up. Take a moment to catch your breath. So the benefits of this posture is that it gives the thyroid a massage. It helps the immune system by aiding the lymphatic drainage of the legs. Also in pregnancy, it's, it's a nice stretch to the um, abdominals and uh, the diaphragm. Of course, if for whatever reason this is uncomfortable, then you come out of it. Obviously, if you're pregnant and have a lot of heartburn, this won't work either. Stay a few more breaths. And to come out of it, bring your legs down to the base of the chair. And bring yourself onto the mat and onto your blanket. You can stay here for a few more breaths. And then if you're not pregnant, you're going to roll to the right. And if you are pregnant, you're going to roll to the left. And come up to seating. You can safely stay in this posture for up to five minutes. Um, but if you're pregnant, you'll see that 
no posture is really comfortable for very long. So if you stay in for five to 15 breaths, that's great. Make sure to come out very slowly. Um, and if there's, um, you know, there's some pressure on the sacrum because it's a hard chair. Uh, I prefer not to put anything on the on the chair because you could slide and the chair will keep you firm. So, um, you know, if, it, if the sacrum has too much discomfort, then you maybe would avoid this posture. But if you can tolerate a little bit of the discomfort of the sacrum for the benefits of the posture, then that would, then maybe the good outweighs the, the bad in that. So that's it. Enjoy. Namaste.